Okay, greetings students. This is going to be a video to show you how to use Mathematica to validate and verify your calculations in various software packages. So we have a system. We want to analyze it. We apply some underlying equations. We end up with a system to solve. We can solve it in Scilab. We want to check our results in Scilab. We have a set of equations. Um, ideally, you would have Mathematica on your computer, but if not, there is a way to incorporate it. Search for Wolfram. Install Wolfram Language Notebook. Create a new file. Choose Wolfram Language Notebook. Um, save it with a name and a WLNB extension. And you have the Wolfram Language Kernel. You have three equations. Equation one. you have all the equations, press shift and enter. And then you have the equations. Shift and enter, we've got three simultaneous equations, then we want to solve it. Equation 1 is 0, equation 2 is 0, equation 3 is 0, and we are solving for V2, V3, V4. And then this is the answers for V2, V3, and V4. Um, probably the easiest way to extract the components from the, the solution is just to use dummy variable a v2 slash dot is one and then v3 is equal to
Right, and then that's the answers for the voltages in explicit form. If we want to calculate a derivative, let's say dv2 dvs, we just say derivative operator v function. We have an expression. and so on and so forth. If we want to evaluate the values, we can also do that. Uh, Odd one is one point six, odd two is two point six five Right, so we are using the width function and then we want to evaluate the function. That's the answer. Answer and for V4, we can also get that's our answers for the voltages. We want to evaluate the sensitivity coefficient. So on and so forth. So that is a simple way to perform symbolic manipulations in the Wolfram language uh, using Visual Studio Code and the extension. So ideally you'll have Mathematica on your computer, but if you don't, you use the free script engine, Wolfram Script, you install it, then you install the package inside Visual Studio, and then you can run the computer code. And then you can work out the answers. Right, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much.